Hello everyone, this is the Audi Q4 e-tron Quattro 55, the all-wheel drive version with 250 kilowatt motor. We have 77 kilowatt hour usable battery and now I'm doing a range test at 110 kilometers an hour. I just did one with 130, but now I charge here, I do a charging test right now, I charge to 90% and then we're gonna drive with 110. Like I said, charge to 90% and I wanna arrive with around 20%, so we use 70% of the battery. This car has summer tires on 20 inch 255 in the rear 235 in the front um, like I said all-wheel drive but if you don't push it the front motor is not doing anything but because it has to turn there's a bit of a loss around 7% higher consumption usually than if you only have the rear wheel drive version I just noticed something while charging you cannot see your driving data so your driving data is only in here it can't be here on the screen and now where it should show the driving data or other information it just shows charging and if I press buttons up and down or something it doesn't work I can only do the view so it's like this or like this and that's it I can't see my driving data I'm back on the highway, now I'm driving 113 on the speedometer, I charged to 90%. We already used a bit since this is the first 10 kilometers is uphill, 16 degrees out there, that's almost summer, that's amazing. My heat is not doing anything, I'm on 20 degrees and fan speed on one, no AC, so it's just blowing air from outside in here, which is amazing. Um, we should have great consumption with this. I used 25% of the battery and I drove 103.5 kilometers. That would mean a full range of and, uh, 414 kilometers. Consumption is pretty good, 182. I was just totally lucky. The exit where they where I usually go off to turn around uh, of the highway, they have they had a construction zone this morning so I wanted to get off earlier but of course I forgot because I always go off here and then it was so lucky they were done they were just removing the cones and I was allowed to drive out yeah that's awesome how is the Q4 at 110 and it's nice and quiet it's not that much more quiet than with 130 it's the same consumption now is amazing and yes i'm not using heat or ac right now it's 16 and a half degrees out um, but before i don't think i used a lot of heat too and it wasn't that cold it was uh, 11 but then also 14 15 degrees so it this car really uh, has a gigantic step between consumption at 130 and 110 which makes sense since it's a gigantic SUV <laughs> I've just turned around navigated back to the 
uh, gas station I'm almost at 40% where I would use 50% of the battery that's great 82 kilometers to go I have 166 kilometers of range so no problem and it shows me a great state of charge where I will arrive with and also a time which since I started this hasn't changed too much the, the percentage didn't change at all the time changed by two minutes which is amazing that means it really knows I'm driving 110 not 130 this is amazing it's a great navigation I love that I also like here that it tells me uh, if there's a charger on the next exit or where the, the next uh, resting places on a highway or a toilet it's awesome automatically i don't have to do anything <laughs> we are at 40 percent and i drove 208 and a half kilometers so that's 417 kilometers of full range and my consumption is at 182 average speed 108 If you need a driver's logbook for your EV for work and you don't want to write everything down yourself, then Tronity is exactly what you need. Tronity connects to your car, a lot of brands are supported, and in the app or in the browser you can see all of this data. Where did you drive, how many kilometers did you drive, where did you charge and how many kilowatt hours did you charge, and then you can specify is this for work or private. You can also do this for a whole fleet. If you want to know more, there's a link in the description below. I arrived with 22%, drove 287.2 kilometers, Google Maps says it's 289, average consumption 181, can talk. So if I calculate, I get to 425 kilometers of range under these conditions with no heat, no AC, 20 inch summer tires, great weather today, uh, great temperature. Uh, it was awesome. <laughs> so that's okay. Consumption seemed to be totally fine. 130 tested was a bit, a lot higher. So I'm happy about this. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Battery Life One, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.